now I request you, sir, to release the book entitled Geospatial Technology for Good Governance and Sustainable Development, authored by Professor Nizamuddin Khan, Dr. Sayyid Fawzal Shamim, and Dr. Ziaud Rahman Ansari. At last, I request you, sir, to release the book entitled Earth System, authored by Nikhat Banu, Sayyid Kausar Shamim, and Ati Khan. in introducing our Honorable Vice Chancellor Sahab, who is an eminent professor of surgery, he is an able administrator, and during his dynamic leadership, the university is at path of all-round development. And because of this endeavor, you know that the ranking of our university by some of the agencies important agencies of the world, that is under 10 in India. So credit goes to him and the entire AMU community. Sir, I welcome you and thank you, thank you for uh, sparing your time to come over here. To, uh, to give his presidential address to the gathering. Sir, please. Sorry, sir. I request uh, Professor Atik Sahab, Chairman, Department of Geography, and convener of this uh, 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 this conference, uh, to explain the aims and objective of this conference and uh, his welcome address. So please start. <laughs> Honorable. Vice Chancellor, Professor Tariq Mansoor, a renowned surgeon and the medical scientist. The most esteemed and respected chief guest, Sri A.B. Pandya, an unparalleled and renowned and most learned scientists in the field of civil engineering. The most respected and honorable, the guest of honor, Mr. Masood Hussain, he is also from the field of civil engineering, who is credited to be designed and reshape the structural formations of the very dams to save the most precious things and elements on the blue water. The another preliminary and the glittering star on the dais, the Professor K. G. Ramesh whose scholarship and prodigious character that undoubtedly intruded into the whole atmosphere and biosphere that had brought a high credential in the field of atmospheric science. The another stalwart on the dais, 
प्रोफेसर आर बी सिंह द सेक्रेटरी जनरल ऑफ आई जी यू इंटरनेशनल जोग्राफिकल यूनियन प्रोफेसर आर बी सिंह हैज रियली क्रेडिटेड टू ब्रॉड दिस इंटेलेक्चुअल गलेक्सी ओवर ही एंड हैज ऑलवेज बिन इंस्ट्रूमेंटल टू ब्रिंग the high credit of the academic pursuit of activities and special care for the department of geography i extend warm welcome again the one of the scholars and academicians and most renowned professor of international repute professor in hama the president of ig <coughs> the one of the academicians who is also bestowed upon him that he has also dead this dais my one of the inspirational and always stimulating and guiding professor mohammad shakir the dean faculty of science the compare professor noshad ahmed and the vote of thank that going to be proposed by professor nizamuddin khan the organizing secretary and the most and the renowned and the intellectual galaxy of the scholar of this morning hailing from different corner of the globe and different intercontinental parts the hail from the out of facing a sort of like you can say most of the tiring journey that we extend our heart welcome and warm welcome to each and every scholar who are just assembled here to glorify and signify and dignify this scientific program and that we really a, a open a new vista in the field of academic pursuit of activity we extend our heart and come to the dignitaries on the dais and of the dais ladies and gentlemen most of the invitees and participants and delegates research scholars faculties <coughs> students they have made their hard in the work to bring this intellectual galaxy we extend hard welcome to each and every part of this great meet of the international congress in the field of water crisis agriculture and food security in the era of climate change it is indeed a matter of great pleasure and honor and privilege for me to be here to extend warm welcome to all of you ladies and gentlemen there has been a testimony in aligarh police university such a kind of academic forum such a kind of academic gathering would have never been feasible without the art support without the a meticulous design and loving of the academic activities the credit goes to our vice chancellor professor tariq mansoor his kaleidoscopic visions and erudicious and high visionary and his time motivations to each and every student of this university to contribute a lot to preserve the glory of this academic activities to preserve this this alma mater and to bring this department and especially the whole of the university at a part with the highest academic honor to cherish the dream of sasayan i heartily welcome professor tariq mansoor to this august gathering the professor ab pandya our chief guest is undoubtedly a one of the glittering star in the field of structural engineering that who has designed this kind of shape and very much ordered and always been jealous and embellished and ornamented and many 
awards and prizes that have been credited to him and now he is heading one of the highest organizations that the international commission on irrigation and drainage system heading almost 120 countries under his own supervision and guidance the professor mahmood hussain the another galaxy another illuminating star who i am proud of in the illuminus of this university and who also with much paid his great efforts in order to shape and design to save the precious things on the globe that is water by going to micro irrigation techniques and methods and certain kind of technological know how in order to preserve the reserve and maintain and use the water sustainable for the existence of the whole precious on the globe i really proud of him and giving him the warm welcome and gratitude to him who has raised this occasion on the platform the kedi ramesh is a doubt he is a man of a luminary star i am really grateful to you sir you have always been a kind enough to grant this occasion my request that has always been you can say accorded by you sir and your gracious presence on this occasion i really extend my warm welcome and gratitude to you and always been inspiring for stimulating the whole mechanism of the globe in order to save the onslaught of the nature that is climate and he is rather very much you can say the forerunner in the field of advanced science i really hope many more things from you sir to embellish the department of geography to give out a kind of meteorological station so that the data can be generated and procured and that will be used for the sake of the research and scientific development i really extend my warm welcome and gratitude to sir again besides the many more dignitaries who are of the dais they have Rada contributed a lot, like Sol from Romania, like Michael Vidos, like Ellen Hella from France, Spain, Turkey, China, Japan. All the dignitaries who are here and they are thinking in terms of the plausible solution for the sake of existing as the water crisis in order to bring the plausible solution so that the whole crisis that should be meted out. I am really grateful. Sir, on this very great occasion, I will just share a few lines regarding the existing water crisis. How we have to design this kind of methodology in order to save the indispensable thing for the sake of humanity and humankind. Sir, water is the elixir of life. Water is the elixir of life, and it is a very significant and important gift of nature and the living planet. Water. its social and cultural meaning is very much deep rooted in our cultural heritage civilization the past have taken birth almost all the natural course of water we need water for drinking bathing cooking recreation fun and almost each and every walk of life that is entertainment rather than the help of water without the life the life is not possible without the water and all the metabolism process that is rather ordained out of the existence of water over 70% in the body and again 70% on the earth but the incredible achievement of science and technology has brought many boons but due to imbalance the curses begin to multiply and threaten the ecological balance there is no doubt that industries all over the globe brought many prosperity and affluence to the society by giving out a new shape of the world giving new outlook new orientation for maximizing the agricultural productivity for maximizing the sphere productivity to shape and reshape the design of the whole pattern of nature of the globe to satisfy the hunger of the people to satisfy the starvation and all the thing but it is a great irony this kind of cultural technology out of the greed not for the need that the scientists they are using this kind of thing without understanding the precarious environmental character without understanding the jeopardize the existing ecosystem and the whole of the agricultural policy economic policy urbanization industrialization 
consumerism, food policies, then altogether they are responsible in order to hamper the existence of the precious ecosystem. And today we are facing the water crisis. The water we drink, the food we eat, the fish we eat, the vegetables we eat, all that are fully contaminated. And the result of this contamination, the world is infected with the innumerable diseases that are causing our health and again stressing on the water. The agriculture, that out of the diversifications of agriculture, more than 70% water are under the use of livestock farming. And the livestock farming itself is accountable to 50% more carbon emission, more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. And that leads to again the climate change. And out of the climate change, there is the melting of the snow that again is added to the 50% of the carbon emission gases like ozone, like the, the greenhouse gases that again is happening because after the melting of the snow, this emission has become a wearable driver for the climate change. And that this paucity of the water, the scarcity of the water, that is not more than 2.7% of the water are existed, and the pressures, the billions of population depend. And not only the population, but all kinds of uses of the water that is fully derived from only 2.7% water, and the water is rather fully contaminated, and it is not potable until it is to be recycled. So the meat industry, that is rather much more a culprit to bring this water under crisis. That 550,000 liter of the liter of water of the uh, drinking water are used for producing only one kg of meat. And if you reduce the 10 percent of this meat, that will rather serve to the more than one million of population and to save the people from starvation and hunger and poverty. To so my submission, ladies and gentlemen, my submission is that that we have to reshape our this food policies. We have to make a redesign our irrigation and micro-irrigation system. We have to sweep over all kinds of our political agenda and think over all kinds of activity in the terms of the benefit of the humanity, not for the sake of disturbing the whole of the ecological balance. So I am very much confident that you people are very much here and have really a most dynamic, most thought-provoking, most erudition, and your pristine culture, and your dynamism, and your UK thought-provoking deliberation will bring many more, you can say, many more.